with new friends. Yes. <laughs> she is a new copywriter at our agency. Just call me Evo. Okay, Evo, such a edgy name, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuesday. We're just signing up from work and we're gonna go to Arta Gading because I need to buy a birthday gift for my friend. Someone just give us a weird look. <laughs> Because we are making content. <laughs> yes, in this long road. Yeah, this long road. So, see you guys after we arrive at the mall, okay? I bought this present for Asha by the way. Her birthday was on 31 December, New Year's Eve. I was looking for a cute tank top or dress that might be pretty on her. I got it. And on the next day, kinda had some cheerful situation here in my office. I love you, baby. Don't you? <laughs> so, Asa just texted me through WhatsApp that she is currently in a light at the coffee shop and she asked me to follow her there. So, now I'm heading to that coffee shop. It's near my website. Uh, FYI. This couple of weeks had been really tough for us, especially my friends, Asha and Eli. Their workloads are getting unbelievable and unhuman and made them so stressed during the day. So this is like the depiction of how crazy the day is and their mental situation. We were trying to entertain each other, tease each other, and that thing was what gives us sane. to speak English in five minutes. Actually, I want to try As someone who really likes learning a language, I really like to see how far my progress is. So I decided to record myself practicing English for at least 20 minutes a day. The goal is to make my English speaking come from unconscious mind. One practice that has been really recommended by a teacher is by telling short stories with all the English vocabulary that we have. So this is me implementing the tips. Let's see how far I've become in this English fluency journey. Telling stories in English for you guys and I hope my English is get more improvement too. Um, this is the thing that I enjoy doing so hopefully I have a reason to, um, to stay alive.
motivated lately in work, life, everything. And then my coworker said, a Virgo is experiencing Mercury retrograde during the specific end of the month. And that's why I had been feeling so bad mood the entire day. But life goes on guys. I try to embrace the feeling and I think all we need is full rest and make the best of the holiday season, right?